Hulk tired of fighting Thor. Hulk tired of battling puny humans. Ah, ah, Hulk needs a place to rest. Ah, this looks like a good place right here. Hulk hungry. Hulk wants to find food before change back to Bruce Banner. Ah, I see a cave right here. Let's go in and check it out. Ah, I don't care who you are. I'm going to eat you. Ah. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, I'm getting a chance to review this awesome Think Geek Venom Play Arts Kai variant figurine. It's available, <coughs> excuse me, on thinkgeek.com. Price from $129.99 down to $79.99. Thanks again, Think Geek, for hooking me up with another awesome product. All right, so let's take a look at the box right here. Got the warning choco for children under three years, not meant for little kids. Marvel Universe variant, play arts, action figure, Kai, designed by Hitoshi Kondo. It's the Venom figurine with the Marvel insignia. All right, actually, let's take a look at the back of the box so you guys know what to expect. Got a whole bunch of Japanese writing, which I don't know about Square. Enix? What, what did I do with it? I guess with the video game. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside panel. This basically explains a little bit what um, Venom is. He's basically Eddie Brock, if you guys know about the Marvel Universe. Here's a quick synopsis of it. And here's what, how it's packaged. Real nice. Let's go ahead and box it. I'm super excited. Hope you guys enjoy that um, quick trailer, so-called. All right, here we go, guys. It's kind of hard not having a table to work with. I got set up for this drift tree, drift log, let me call it. Y'all love unboxing, it's super exciting. Oh, wow. Gotta make sure this doesn't drop. Oh, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff and screws. And I believe you can mop this. Yeah, so take a look at this. This was all inside this packaging. So here's what you expect to be inside the packaging. Basically the figure contains alternate head they can remove, features five interchangeable hands. It has a matte and glossy finish that you see, awesome looking. And it weighs about 13 ounces. The dimensions are about 10.2 inches height, 5.1 inches in width, and 2.2 inches in depth. And here is the display stand. Uh, I'm not going into details about that, but you guys can look at the instructions. Basically, you can display it or just play with it however you want it. And there are some instructions how the interchangeable hand, heads work in hand. I mean, enough talk. Let's go ahead and just play with this. It looks totally freaking amazing. Alright, so here we go. The first look at the figurine. It has good weight to it, guys. This is the most awesome Venom that I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like straight from a comic book. The art kind of reminds me of McFarlane type, you know, super muscular with super well-defined muscles and components. Do so you see the head? It's movable, right? You can turn it. And even tilt. Look at how detailed his eyes are. Look at that. And along with his teeth. It's like from jaws. His neck muscles, man. It even moves. Look at all the articulation of the hands, too, and how detailed it is. It is freaking amazing. I'm blown away. Like the same way I saw that round rainbow earlier. And let's take a look at his torso. Well defined muscles right there. It kind of moves. Doesn't really rotate. There you go, that's some of the rotation, all right? So he can't really turn that much, it looks like. But here is some of the leg motion. Um, there we go. It rotates a little bit, his thighs. That's you can do deep squats and stuff. 
Look at his legs, like kicking and stuff. Boot jets. His toes even moves too. Plenty of articulation. This is the most well-defined figure I've ever owned, that's for sure. Look at the back, guys. There's a side view. And let's go ahead and switch out his head. How about that? All right, I'm gonna attempt to interchange his head. Oh, here's the freaky part. It's like straight from a horror movie. Let's, re let's try to remove it. Carefully, I don't wanna break it. Ah, so this is how it, it goes on a rotating pedestal. Let's go ahead and replace it with this head. Oh, this is the, this is the head right there that Venom is known for. With his long tongue. <laughs> it's freaking amazing, look at this. It's, it's got a longer tongue than my dog's tongue. Pop it in like that. Make sure you snap it into place. There we go. All right, and make sure you snap it into place. With that pop, you guys hear that pop? Oh, I'm gonna keep this right here. This is the perfect one. Now let's go ahead and interchange his arms. How about that? Both of his arms. These come apart easier than the other ones. Let's go ahead and... This is his left hand. All right, like it's shooting webs. Whoops. There we go, look at this. And here it is with both fists clenched, like a Superman punch, like in the UFC. Alright guys, so if you are a huge fan of collectibles or just a huge fan of Eddie Brock and Venom and Marvel Comics, this is the awesome figurine to get. Don't forget, it is the Venom Play Arts Kai variant, only available, special limited edition on ThinkGeek, marked down to $79.99. <laughs> Thanks for watching, don't forget like, comment, share, subscribe. Once again, thank you ThinkGeek. Love you guys. Hopefully. We will have another collaboration, and I'm a big fan of Juggernaut, that's right. Take care of yourselves.